Hello and welcome to a not so sunny Nova Scotia today. Um, I'm filming in the midst of Hurricane Dorian so um, hopefully uh, I can keep filming and we won't get flooded or blown out as I'm, uh, as I'm making my curry today. And welcome to day three of the Great British Curry Weekend. If you've joined me for the first couple of days, um, on day one I produced three tasty appetisers um, that go with the poppadoms that we would normally have in Britain and we're having our curries on a Friday night after a few beers. Yesterday I produced um, Mrs F's favourite curry, um, chicken tikka masala, and um, that was absolutely beautiful. And today, I know I keep saying this, but you're in for a bit of a treat. Um, and I'm in for a bit of a treat because I'm making my favourite curry of the moment, uh, a Kashmiri chicken. And that's really nice, so really good um, base ingredients and the the good thing about, or the, the piece de resistance on this curry is um, it has apples in it. So you've got the nice, you've got the fire from the chilli powder and the different um, spices. We've got garam masala in this one, but then we've got a bit of sweetness in there with the apples. And uh, they're very tasty indeed, a really good addition. So, how do we make this curry? Well, this is uh, mostly made sautéed on the pan and the ingredients Oh, chicky, obviously, free range, if you please. Uh, and the ingredients I'm using for my garden today are basically onions, again, uh, and some garlic. The apples, I've got apples on my tree, but they're just not ready yet. But I couldn't wait to, to film this, so um, we've got some apples from the store, but they're Nova Scotia apples. Also, um, root ginger. Now, <laughs> lights out, a bit of a hurricane lights out. Root ginger, when you get root ginger, it comes in a great big lump of, of, of root ginger and people often think, well, what am I gonna do with the rest of the ginger when I've just made this particular recipe? But a good thing to do is to put it in the freezer. I put it in the freezer and then when I use it, I either use a, a grater to just grate a bit off or I just, you know, let it, let it defrost and, and then use it then. But then you can use it for months and months and months. So that's a good money saving idea to just to, to store your ginger in the freezer. So what are we gonna do first? First of all, oh, we're going all over the place here. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we are going to, so first of all, I'm, going to, I'm getting a bit of uh, lights on lights off here, but I'm gonna keep going, stiff up with it and all that sort of stuff. So first of all, I'm going to chop up the onions and the garlic and the ginger, and we're going to saute them um, to get us going. So let's start doing that. Hello, and welcome back. Well, it's actually five days since um, I was so rudely interrupted by um, Hurricane Dorian. Um, we had a bit of damage, but and I, I can joke about it. Um, but you know, it wasn't anywhere near the unfortunate um, effects of uh, the hurricane down in the Bahamas and, and, and Florida, etc. And we got away quite lightly, really. Um, so, like I said, it's been five days since I've used up the chicken that I had there on a, a rather nice um, chicken with basil and, and cream that I did on the on the camp stove, and it's actually given me a bit of an idea. So I've been troubled with uh, cooking on the cooker and trying to get decent camera effects, etc. So while I was cooking on the stove, I thought, well, why don't I just do that when I'm when I'm I'm filming these videos? So I'm going to try um, cooking the curry on my camp stove today, and then we'll at least have um, decent vision in while I'm cooking. So where was I? I was talking about the ingredients actually, and then I was just about to go on to um, the cooking, but what I missed out on is the spices. So like I said, um, I'll just go over it again, even though you just heard it a minute ago. Um, so we talk about the onions, the onions for the, um, from the, the garden, and there's garlic and from my garden. Ginger isn't. Like I said, I've got apples growing, but not, um, these aren't those. They're still nice. What else have we got? Some garam masala, some chili, a teaspoon each of those, 
um, a cinnamon stick, half a, half a cinnamon stick there, about an inch and a bit. Um, some bay leaves, I've only got dry ones. If you've got um, fresh bay leaves, that'd be all the better. And like I said, the ginger, and I explained about the ginger. And some almonds, crushed up almonds, and I've crushed these up, as you can see here, in my, um, my deli mortar and pestle. And I put all the other stuff, the garlic, etc., and the chili and the garam masala in here, ready to go. And we've got the chicken, so I am just about to uh, start cooking it, eh? First things first, let's get the onions sauteing in the pan with the, um, the bay leaf and the cinnamon stick. Right, I've got the, the pan on a medium heat, I don't think it's making too much noise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the onions, and it's going to be two onions, I'm only using one because it's only me and it. Mrs. F um, eating tonight. So the onions, the bay leaf, um, four peppercorns, black peppercorns, and two cloves. So uh, I'm sure you guys know what a clove is, but there you go, just in case. There's a little clove, nice little uh, bit of flavour into it. So I'll put them in the pan and we're going to saute them for about three to five minutes, just soften them up. Don't let them brown. And there we go. Let's put them in. Turn that heat down a touch. There we go. We'll let them go. And then what I've done, I've already chopped up the the chicken just strips really I like a nice something uh, to bite into so there we go about that size chop it up nicely a couple of breasts will do uh, for about or three breasts will do for for four people this recipe is normally for about four people but like I said it's only Myself and Mrs. F. Young Ethan's not into curries quite yet. Talking to Young Ethan, I'm rather excited actually. Um, hurricane's gone out of the way, the, the, my garden wasn't destroyed too much. But tomorrow, um, or today, the um, HMS Queen Elizabeth came into the um, into Halifax Harbour, um, the new UK aircraft carrier. And I've, I've said a few times, I was in the Navy for 25 plus years. Um, and I'm getting the chance to go on, on the ship tomorrow and I'm getting the chance to show my boy um, around a, a warship. Now that might, might be warmongery or whatever but um, it's a spectacle and it's my boy is a sort of grown up with me being outside the Royal Navy and it'd be nice now to show him you know, what dad did when he was younger and uh, I had a good time in the, in the Navy so it'd be nice to show the boy around. Right, I reckon that's done. I'm going to bung the chicken in now. So we're going to brown that off for a few minutes, give it a swirl around, mix it in. Smell that cinnamon from the cloves. Lovely. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. Should be good fun. So what have we got? So while that's browning off, I want to be thinking about the apples. So we want to peel the apples um, and take out the core so, so I'll just prepare these apples and be right back right so I turned the heat up on these uh, this chicken and I stir fried it for about two to three minutes making sure I'm keeping it moving around I don't want everything burning I'm liking this cooking on here actually nice bit of space not too worried about the light now Hats back, 
Can't be cooking without the hat, can I? Right, so I'm going to turn the heat down a touch. And in goes, what are we putting in here now? We're putting in one teaspoon of um, chilli powder, a teaspoon of garam masala, get that in all good Indian stores or your, a good supermarket, um, the garlic, so one, one or two garlic cloves will do, let's put that in, not waste any, get some nice smells going now. And the ginger, oh, half of that's gone over there. Obviously, um, I've put up the ingredients up on the screen, but it's also going to be on the bio on, the, on my video YouTube page. Right, so let's swirl this um, coating, these spices around, get them coating all the chicken. Look at that. I'll tell you what, if you could smell, I wish we need smell a vision, don't we? Because this, oh, this is a dancer. So I'm just going to take the cores out of these. And then what I'm going to do is literally just slice them nicely. So they're thinly sliced. about that is about right right so you want about half a pint of natural yogurt oh look at that give that a stir in and those of you guys who saw the chicken masala dish you'll know that once this starts to heat through the yogurt will break up don't worry it's supposed to do that and we also want a tablespoon of chopped coriander so we're going to let this heat through for about another three or four minutes let it heat up Start bubbling. Well, I'm going to finish these apples at some point here. Okay, that's been bubbling away nicely now for two or three minutes. It's all broken up. Now, what I'm going to do is add in the apples. Like I said, you've got the sort of the heat from the, the chili and the, and the slightly sourness from the from the yogurt. And the different spices in there and now this adds a little bit of sweetness to the dish last bit of apple here which really contrasts nicely right so i'm going to turn this down cover that and we're going to let that bubble away for about 10-15 minutes, giving it a stir every now and then. I'm going to prepare the, um, the naan bread and some rice. Be right back. Right, so we've just got a few minutes to go for the um, oh, absolutely beautiful smelling curry there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to dry, I'm going to toast some flaked almonds just so they give it a bit of a garnish. So I'm just going to toast them on a, on a dry pan. So I've just got a handful of almonds, just let them heat through, give them a toss in a minute. So just as these start to colour, that'll be them done. A little bit longer. Okay, that's us all done. For the sake of a clean ship being a, a tidy ship, I uh, cleared away the camp stove and just finished it off 
on the um, on the stove there. Beautiful. 15 minutes. I've done a bit of rice. There's some some naan bread there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to tear this naan bread up for the sake of a bit of a bit of looking good. Let's get the rice in. Oh, see, like I said. Let's keep that tidy like that. There we are. Let's have a bit of chicken. Right. Nice bit of sauce around there. I'm not going for the cordon bleu, you know, but it, it wants to look it wants to look nice. No, I'll use that in a second. Finish it off with a touch of uh, the uh, toasted almonds. I'll hold my hands up, I took my eye off the pan for a couple of minutes and uh, they toasted a bit too much for my liking, but they'll do. Let's have a bit of garnish. Right, so there we go, a beautiful Kashmiri curry. They never look uh, the greatest in the world, but I bet this tastes absolutely delicious. Let's have a go, shall we? Let's have a bit of chicken. Mmm, yeah. All the flavours of the spices are in there. There's a bit of heat from the chilli. Let's have a try the apple. That's good. So you got the, straight away you get the, the spices in there and then you get that sweetness from the apple. It's absolutely delicious. So, I'm going to hurry this through and plate up for Mrs F. That's the, um, that's the curry weekend. We started off with the, um, the three appetizers and the poppadoms. And I hope you've, you've had a chance to, to have a go at them because they're a really good a good starter and then yesterday we had the chicken tikka masala Mrs F's favourite and then today we've got the, the beautiful Kashmiri curry with those those apples and the sweetness if you ever get a chance with a, a nice um, dinner party get the whole lot going and uh, it's an absolutely fantastic feast and you can't do better than a great British curry that's what I say jobs are good one.